Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. My name is the editor, Martin Klima, joins me today to unpack the latest news in the mining industry. Welcome, Martin. Thanks, Ashni. Now, mining luminary Paul Muller says if South Africa wants to reclaim its position in the global mining industry, it needs to restore trust. I think Paul makes a very important point. You know, I can remember in the early days, we happened to go into a meeting that we shouldn't have been in. And there were journalists there, <coughs> and there, was, uh, there were lawyers there, top lawyers. And it was like at a, a show, and the lights were down. And uh, the person giving the speech thought that, you know, the people in the audience were uh, those who would support him. And he spoke about how, you know, the mining industry thought the department is really inefficient. But what was really happening is when they put in applications for mines, that they were put in the bottom drawer because they didn't want to approve them. And we actually published this because the lawyers came out afterwards and said, what do you think of that? And one top lawyer said, are you going to publish this? And said, yes, because we've got recordings. So we published this, and the person who actually made the statement came through and wanted to sue us. And so we said, well, we'll send you your talk, because <laughs> we've got, and we never heard from him again. So, you know, a lot of trust has been lost. And it's all very well saying we did things wrongly, we shouldn't have done that. But you've got to now move far further in order to regain that trust. And <clears throat> it's not just taking away the red tape. You've actually got to roll out the red carpet and you've got to have full transparencies, particularly with, you know, going into this new exploration era with the cadaster and all the other things that have got to show that you are going to do well here. And I think that's what the department has to do at the moment to get investment going. We need that investment going. We can't have a mining industry that's shrinking. Now can you tell us about the new sun tracking system that's making waves? Yeah, so, you know, we have power from mirrors. They mirror the sun. And, uh, you know, from that sun power, you concentrate that sun power with the use of mirrors. It's uh, called concentrating and concentrated solar power, CSP. There are three big plants. And, you know, every bit of energy now we need to get so a German company has come through and they can upgrade these plants with new technology. And they've spelt it out in a way that I think is going to encourage the new owners to use it where you get the best out of the sun through this new technology. And hopefully it gets taken up because we need every bit of energy we can get and as much clean energy and sun energy as possible. And lastly, Plug Power has stressed the importance of platinum-based proton exchange membrane technology for the company. Yes, and this we got on the Wednesday that was the U.S. Liberation Day. So we were hearing from an important company that's listed on the NASDAQ in the United States that has actually advanced green energy very, very well, that they are fervent users of platinum-based PEM technology. So you can see that although the platinum price is down, its use is starting to be acknowledged around the world. And you know he's saying that what we do for industry in America is accepted because this green hydrogen and the fuel cell technology that we're providing pays them. You know, it increases their efficiency. They do things faster was good news for platinum group metals. Fortunately, platinum group metals are not going to be subject to this uh, reciprocal uh, tariff tax. And to highlight at this point that, you know, these are metals in demand that we should be moving in the direction of green technology, green energy is important because one gets the feeling that perhaps some part of the United States is going in the opposite direction, but at least you can hear from the private sector that they are still moving ahead well. And that same private company, Plug Power, is doing good work in, in Europe uh, and also using our P 
PEM technology, which is platinum based, looking to do good work in Australia and, you know, saying to Africa, instead of going the fossil fuel route in your big uh, electrification programs and your transmission programs that you, you're having to do, your grids, skip that, you know, like <coughs> has been done in the past where new technologies come in and Africa might have been behind, but it's jumped right over as with telecoms. So they're saying repeat that and instead of even considering fossil fuels, go straight into the sun, the wind, and you can even have a bit of nuclear with it because that can be supported by the green hydrogen along with the fuel cell technology. Good thinking behind there at the moment. We, we need it. We need to boost in our economy. This can help us. And we keep hearing from the analysts that, you know, the hydrogen technology is still very far away. But you can see in certain parts of the world, it's right there. It's happening. You know, uh, the hydrogen fuel cell technology moves a lot in America, particularly along the forklift front. And so this is an eye opener. And we need to make sure that we push this in Africa, in South Africa because it means that we can develop our economy in such a way that you can be inclusive, but you can also make sure you beneficiate along the way and you add value, which is what Africa is calling for at the moment. Thanks for speaking with us, Martin. Thank you, Sashni. That's it for today. Join us again next week for more news analysis on the local and global mining industries. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Mining Weekly daily email newsletter.